Okay, good morning. Uh, this is day 42 of the packet, and we are working on our journal entry uh, four years ago. The task says, how old were you four years ago? So subtract four from your age. Describe some things you can do now that you could not do then. So is there anything you could do in kin you couldn't do in kindergarten or first grade that you can do now? I know we're all in lockdown and there's a lot of stuff you can't do now that you couldn't you could do six months ago. But think more general things. Like in this time, did you learn how to ride a bike? Did you learn how to cook yourself lunch? What things did you learn that you can do now that you couldn't do in kindergarten or first grade? So think about that. All right, so for the journal entry, these are the expectations. Okay, now number one, first paragraph, good beginning. Question, quote, sound effect. Um, I, this should be one or two sentences just to grab your reader and make them want to read the rest of your entry. Question, do you know how to ride a bike? Do you know how to scramble an egg? Do you know how to do the laundry? Uh, I know how to do that now. My mom taught me when I was, boom, years old. Okay? So I want to know, start it out with a good beginning question, a quote. You know, if your mom was always telling you, I'm not going to be around forever, you have to learn to take care of yourself. That might be a quote you could start with. A sound effect might work here, depending on what you're talking about. So depending on what you're talking about, these three are the three that come to mind. If you have a better idea, please use it. Okay, paragraph two. Describe what you can do now that you could not do four years ago. Use verbs. We're talking about actions here. Not what do you know, what can you do? So I should see a lot of strong verbs here, a lot of actions. Use adjectives too. Be descriptive. Tell me what you're thinking. Make me feel it. Don't just say, I can ride a bike. Okay, great. How did you learn? What do you do with that skill? Do you take yourself to baseball practice? Do you go around the corner to your best friend's house? I mean, before the lockdown. So do you make yourself lunch every day? Do you make your mom lunch every day? Like, what do you do with this knowledge that you have now? Okay, so I'm looking for actions. I'm looking for adjectives. I'm looking for excitement. I'm looking for an expanding of your world. And then good ending. I hope for the future would work really well here. There might be a few other techniques you could use, but this is the one that's really jumping out at me. So just to say, I graded stuff and if you hand me three sentences I am not going to be a happy camper okay this should be three paragraphs now this is going to be short this is going to be short this one should be chunky so I do not want three sentences handed to me for this entry think about what you're doing use the guidelines all right so that when I go to grade this there's something there to grade, okay? So I, this, is, this is what I want to see. Good beginning, good ending. I want a descriptive paragraph in the middle. Use your verbs, use your adjectives. Make me feel how your world has expanded with this knowledge. All right? Good luck.